again for making time for the Lord Jesus Christ here this morning. So let's just open up in prayer before we get into the word of God. Father, we bless you this morning and we thank you once again for the gift of life, Father. Many people did not wake up to see this day. Many people, they cannot even get out of bed, mighty God. But thank you that you have given us the strength, Father, to wake up this morning, not by might, nor by power. Therefore, we celebrate the gift of life this morning. We celebrate who you are in our lives, mighty God. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. You are the guest of honor. And we say, Holy Spirit, come and have your way in this meeting this morning in the name of of Jesus, I pray for your guidance this morning, Holy Ghost. I pray for, 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 for your spirit to lead us today in the mighty name of Jesus. More than anything, Father, I pray that your people will continually have a hunger for your presence, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, Dipulelo is here. She's got a hand up in the air. She says, I am here. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. I hope you got your coffee this morning. Mm -hmm. um, I feel that coffee anointing again this morning. So I had to ask uh, the African queen to organize me a cup of coffee this morning. And she does make a great coffee, my African queen. I just need it the coffee anointing this morning to get into the word of the Lord. But beloved, on a more serious note, I'm going to be talking from the subject of wisdom for trials. Wisdom for trials. Hallelujah. Wisdom for trials. I hope you guys are ready. The thing is, um, as I've always been talking, especially in the past few weeks, that um, people of God are going through a tough time. A very, very, very difficult time. So it is important that even in the midst of our uh, um, difficulties, in the midst of our trials, we must always make sure that we allow God to speak to us in the trials. More than anything, allow him to show us a way so that we are able to navigate ourselves through the trials of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I see Buitumelo is having a great laugh there. Buitumelo says, DJ Duve is holding Shandukani tight. Shandu, wake up, man. Don't allow uh, 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 the power of the mattress and DJ Duve to hold you back this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. DJ Pilo. Praise the Lord. Beloved, um, open up your Bibles with me this morning. Grab your Bibles this morning. In the name of Jesus, we're going to look at the wisdom of God, the wisdom of God concerning the trials in our lives. And I want you to pick up from the book of James chapter 1, James chapter 1. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Please do grab your Bibles um, this morning as you walk with me through the text this morning. James chapter 1, and we're going to pick up from verse 5. James Chapter 1 and verse 5. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shandu. Shandu just joined us. Shandu says, hey man, I am up. We thank God. We thank God that the Lord spoke to you there, Shandu. Get up in the name of Jesus. Now, if you got your Bibles, open up your Bibles in the book of James chapter 1. We're going to pick up from verse 5 this morning. And the Bible reads in this order. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. Isn't that powerful? That the Bible says you must ask and it shall, it shall be given to you. Knock and the door shall be opened. Seek and you shall find. But now according to the book of James, James is talking about wisdom. He says, are any of you lacking wisdom? Do you need wisdom in your life? The Bible says you must ask the Lord who gives without reproach. And he will give you the wisdom that you are needing this morning. But in particular, I want to bring a message to a, to a, a group of people this morning that say, men of God, we have been going through hell. We have been facing difficult times. It, it, it's, it's been hectic. The storms and the winds have been blowing against 
my house. But I need the wisdom of God to get out of the situation, to be able to go through the situation without falling on the wayside. Listen, we cannot allow our emotions to dictate how we go through the difficult times. But allow Holy Ghost to be the one that works and gives you divine direction when you are going through a difficult time. Hallelujah. Uh, Gobisa, good morning to you. Alexa uh, has joined us as well, all the way from Cape Town. Thank you, uh, Gobisa, for just uh, tagging our friends and family right there. But let's, let's continue. If, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives to all. The, the version that I read earlier says without reproach, meaning God gives lavishly. God generously gives to us when we ask him. Hallelujah. Now, in the context of our discussion this morning on trials in the, in the life, or rather the Apostle James, he tells the believers to ask God for wisdom to understand. Hallelujah. Wisdom to understand and to use the, the, the trials for God's glory. Does it make sense? How can you use trials for God's glory? You can you can if you allow him, if you apply the wisdom that is given to you by the Holy Spirit, you can make your trials bring glory to God. Remember, there are always people watching how we Christians behave, how we Christians go through our trials. Do you kick your dogs and your cats at home when you are angry, when you are going through the storms? Do you, do you throw plates and, and, and cups and glasses around in your home when you are going through tough times? There are people that are watching. We need to behave like children of God. We need to behave like we know who our God is. Don't throw your toys out of the court, but allow God to take you through the storm. Allow him to give you wisdom to go through the storm. Hallelujah. Some people are watching us as believers. Therefore, how we behave, how we act when we are facing challenging times can, can, can play a major role in their decision making, especially the unbelievers. If they see us act in a way that is contrary to what we preach, they will not come to this God that we say we serve. They will not come to this God that we so much believe in and have faith in and hope in. They will not. But therefore, submit yourself under the mighty hand of God. When you are going through trials, just submit yourself under the hand of God and allow Him to take you through the storm. One thing we must never do as believers, whenever the challenges come, we must not panic. Number one, do not panic. Remember, Jesus is in the boat with you. Don't panic. Your God has promised you never to leave you nor forsake you. Therefore, when you are going through challenging times, ask him for wisdom. Call unto the name of Jesus. The Bible says, wherefore, there is no name under heaven by which man can be saved except the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, when you are facing storms, call on that name. Don't be dictated to by your circumstances, but call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He has the power and the ability to deliver you from your storm. He has the power and the ability to set you free from whatever trials you are facing. But apply the wisdom of God when you are going through a challenging time. Hallelujah. Uh, Tepo, uh, uh, Edgar Mahasani is watching. God bless you, uh, my dear brother. God is faithful. Now, uh, the Apostle James, he tells the believers to ask God for wisdom so that we can understand why sometimes we are in, 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 in trials. And I want to say this this morning. Please pay attention. Sometimes God allows certain trials to come. God sometimes allows certain trials to come and for you to encounter them so that you can understand there is always a bigger picture. There is always a bigger picture 
why you are going through certain things in your life. It doesn't mean God has abandoned you. It doesn't mean that God has forgotten about you. But there is a bigger picture. There is a reason and a purpose why God has allowed certain storms to come into your life. Therefore, ask God for wisdom to understand why you are going through the trial that you are facing today. And allow God, or rather allow God to, 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 to get the glory through your trial. I want to pick up in the life of Joseph. We all know Joseph the dreamer. The Bible says he shared his dreams with his brothers and he made the biggest mistake of his life by sharing his dreams with the so-called dream killers. Therefore, his brothers, they did not understand what God was doing in the life of Joseph. But God allowed Joseph to go through a testing time in his life. Therefore, the Bible says, and I'm just going to paraphrase the life of Joseph. The Bible says his brothers, they were, they were jealous of him. They envied him even because his father loved him more than the rest of the brothers. Therefore, they decided together, we're going to get rid of this dreamer. We're going to get rid of this man with colors of many coats. And the Bible says they threw him in a pit. And let me tell you today. We, we, don't un, we don't understand what Joseph went through. We don't even know what Joseph went through. But it must have been a trying time. The closest people to you, your own brothers, that's how they looked at you. They looked at you as an enemy. They took you and they threw you in the pit. Joseph must have been felt like, like, like he must have been felt uh, rejected, unloved. Therefore, he was in the pit, but the Bible says uh, he was sold into slavery. He was sold into slavery, and he ended in the house of, of Potiphar. Hallelujah. We know the story how he served Potiphar faithfully, but Potiphar's wife uh, 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 wanted, you know, to, to kill the dream that God had given Joseph. The story goes beyond uh, uh, Potiphar's wife wanting to sexually uh, 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 be intimate with Joseph. It goes beyond it. She wanted to get Joseph to sleep with her so that the purpose of God can be thwarted. So that the purpose of God can be destroyed upon Joseph's life. And we know how he was accused falsely of rape. And now he finds himself in jail. But I want you to see how everything lines up this morning. From the pit to being accused to ending up in jail. It must have been a season of difficulty. It must have been a season of, of, of asking God many questions. Why me, Lord? What have I done to deserve this? I did nothing wrong. I've been faithful, Lord. But God allowed Joseph to go through the, the, the pit to be accused falsely and to end up in jail. Not only to end up in jail, even those that Joseph believed that they had the power to help him come out of jail. The Bible says that the, the, the cup bearer, he forgot Joseph after he interpreted a dream for him. A dream that came true. Joseph must have felt abandoned and all alone. But I want you to see the picture this morning. That God, God must, must be gracious to us this morning. Never to react out of emotions whenever we are going through trying times. Never once you hear the Bible, that, that you know, speaking about Joseph memoring, complaining about being where he was. But we know according to scripture that Joseph succeeded in everything that he did, even in jail, because the Bible says the Lord was with him. Did he never make a promise that when we go through the fire, it will not burn us? When we go through the water, we will not drown. That's exactly what happened to Joseph. God never let him down, even though he was going through a season of testing. Now, we all know the story. From the prison, he went to the palace. But that was not the end of the story. The story is not about going from the pit to the palace. But the story is about the purpose of God being fulfilled in the name of Jesus. What was the purpose of Joseph going through whatever he went through? The purpose was that God, through Joseph, was to preserve the nation of Israel. Jesus, there was a greater picture 
That was the bigger picture. The picture was to preserve the nation of Israel. You will remember now when Joseph was elevated to a place of prestige, to a place of prominence. Now, Joseph had the power to, to apply the wisdom that God had given him. God gave Joseph wisdom to, to store up food because there was a time when Joseph was now in charge. The famine swept through the land. But God gave Joseph wisdom ahead of time. Store food in the buns. Store food in the storerooms. Because there will be a time of famine that will come. That was the purpose of Joseph. That was the purpose of going, of Joseph going through the trials of, and the tribulations that he was facing. There was a greater purpose in all of his pain, in all of his suffering. God wanted to use the suffering to get the glory out of what Joseph was going through. As you go through your trials today, allow God to, to, to give you wisdom and apply that wisdom. And allow God to get glory out of your difficult situation. Don't murmur, don't complain when you are going through difficult times. But just submit yourself under the hand of the Lord. The Bible says he will lift you up. He will lift you up. Therefore, the Bible says, do not grow weary in doing good, for in due season you shall reap. You shall reap. Therefore, Joseph endured the process, and he reaped being in the palace, a place of prestige and a place of prominence. But what was the purpose? To preserve the nation of Israel, not only the nation of Israel, because the Bible says that many other nations, they came to get food from Joseph in Egypt. Hallelujah. Ask God today, Lord, why am I going through this today? I am certain this morning that there is a greater purpose. Why God has allowed certain things to take place in your life. I am quite certain that there is a purpose. God wants to get glory out of your misery, out of your situation. God wants to get the glory this morning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Rian says, when you face a problem, call it an opportunity and handle it with calmness and peace. Hallelujah. Tepo Mahasani says, you are really blessed with God's words, my evangelist, pure as ever. God bless you, my dear brother. Rian says, true wisdom is found in God's word from the one who created wisdom in the first place. Uh, the Lord was with him. That's Joseph. Uh, um, Yvonne says, he turns our weeping into dancing. God is faithful, beloved. God is faithful this morning in the name of Jesus. Tepo says it was extremely confusing and hurtful, but necessary for Joseph. Isn't that powerful? It was necessary for Joseph. Praise the Lord. Now let's go a little bit further here this morning. Divine wisdom. Divine wisdom gives us the spiritual ability to view trials from God's perspective. Hallelujah. Mm. I feel that coffee anointing right now. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. Mm. Hallelujah. Divine wisdom gives us the spiritual ability to view trials uh, from God's perspective. But not only does he help us to understand our suffering, but he enables us to apply the wisdom to our trials. Isn't that powerful? I've mentioned it already. Apply the wisdom of God to your problem, to your situation. Praise God. Praise God. Now, James tells us that trials come from many sources. And this is the wisdom that we need to apply this morning. Situations and issues and trials, they come from many sources. The number one <laughs> target is the enemy. You know, as believers, we, we are so quick to blame everything on Satan. It is the, the devil is attacking me, man of God. The devil is, no, 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 no. Stop giving glory to that devil. Stop giving glory to that devil. Because God allows certain things. 
also in your life to take place for his plans and purposes to be fulfilled in your life. Yes, the devil's attacks. Yes, I am not ignorant of that fact. But God himself sometimes allows certain things to happen. That's why James, in this discussion here this morning concerning trials, James is giving us a powerful thing here that we must apply wisdom. Therefore, ask God. Do you know that God is a, is a God that answers prayer? If you ask him, Lord, why am I here? He will speak to you. and He will give you the strength to go through that problem. Ask him. But it's, it's also important, I'm talking about different sources. Problems, issues coming from different sources. Sometimes our own foolish decisions, they make us to go through trials in life. Our own foolish decisions. It is a fact. It is a fact. Whenever we are pursuing our selfish objectives, we can end up facing trials. My God, Govisa says uh, wisdom gives us ability to minister with scars and not with pain. Praise the Lord. Uh, we do mean let's stop glorifying the devil and give praise to God through trials. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's, let's go further. Now, we live in a fallen world, beloved. We cannot be ignorant to the fact that we live in a fallen world that has been severely affected by the result of Adam's uh, 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 disobedience. The world is upside down from the beginning. Adam messed us up good. Therefore, hardships in the world cannot be prevented. Hardships cannot be prevented in one way or another or in a season or another. All of us, all of us watching this morning, we have gone through stuff and some of us are still going through, are still going through. But remember what Jesus said? Jesus said, in this life, you will have trouble, but be of good cheer for I have overcome the world. That's why I want to eliminate emotions. Number one, eliminate emotions whenever you are going through a trying time. Ask God for wisdom to go through that trial in the name of Jesus. Now listen to this. Um, I'm speaking about God now. His wisdom, God's wisdom helps us to discern not only his will, but also how we respond to the pressures of life. What does God want us to learn in the process of dealing with any trial in your life? What is the good that can come out of the evil intent or, or, or in persecution or in misunderstanding? God tests us in order to demonstrate our faithfulness and strength. God tests us in order to demonstrate our faithfulness and strength. God wants to show us how strong we are when we are dependent upon him. Isn't that powerful? God wants to show us how strong we are. We are strong when we depend on him. Hallelujah. The testing of our faith produces the likeness of Christ in us. The testing of our faith produces the likeness of Christ in us. Hallelujah. Listen to, to what the Bible says in the book of 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. Hallelujah. 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 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. Thank you, Jesus. In this, you greatly rejoice. Even though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been distressed by various trials so that the proof of your faith being more precious than gold, which is perishable, even though tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Our faith will be tested. But the Bible says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6 to 7, even though your faith will be tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. 
What does this mean this morning? It means we need to persevere. We need to fight the good fight until the revelation of Jesus Christ, until the coming back of Jesus Christ, until he returns. Let us be a people that have faith. Let us be a people that are dependent on God through our trials and our tribulations. The Bible ask us, us, is asking us a question this morning. The word of God. Will I find faith when I return? Will you still be standing when Jesus returns? Or will you succumb to the circumstances that, that are surrounding you? But keep on keeping on. Keep on holding on to Jesus. Keep, in, keep on touching the hem of his garment this morning. Until the revelation of Jesus Christ. Though your faith will be tested by fire. Keep on in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, our testing. Testing proves our Christian character. Testing proves our Christian character. Let me make you an example this morning. I know of some brothers, and I'm talking about the testing of our character. I know of some brothers that I know personally, that when they were irritated by somebody in the church, they told that person, don't mess with me. You don't want to see the other side of me. Testing reveals our character. Can you imagine that? A brother saying, don't mess with me. You, you don't, you don't want to see the other side of me. Suddenly our character has been exposed that we actually do have more than one side. The only side that I thought we have, I thought is the side of Jesus Christ. But I am surprised to see how brothers say, I will show you the other side. Don't mess with me. Therefore, that means that person was being tested. His character was being tested by that trial, by that situation. And that trial exposed who he really is. He is a man that will show you another side. Don't allow circumstances to bring about what is impure out of you. You are holy. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Only good things must come out of us. The testing must reveal who we really are. The testing must reveal our character. That we are born again believers. We are not half born again. We are born again believers. Our character represents Jesus. Our character brings glory to Jesus Christ. Don't allow people and circumstances to bring about things out of you that are not supposed to be there in the first place. But allow the trials of life to bring glory to God. To Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's take it a little bit further this morning. God uses the trials to strip away the superficial spirituality in our lives. God uses trials to strip away the superficial spirituality in our lives they reveal the secret inner attitude of our lives and make us aware of secret sins unclarified values and selfish motives my god uh, brother rian says above all else guard your heart for everything you do flows from it very, very, very important, beloved, this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. The question of commitment comes when we face trials. The question of commitment to our Lord Jesus Christ, it comes when we face trials, when we face uh, uh, hardships and persecutions, but our confidence and our hope must be in God. 
and we must obey God even when we do not understand why things are happening to us. Mm -hmm. Can I repeat that, beloved? Mm -hmm. I think I need to repeat that. The question of commitment to Jesus Christ, it comes when we face trials, hardships, and persecutions. Mm -hmm. But our confidence and our hope must always be in Jesus Christ and obey Him even when we do not understand what is happening in our lives. Hallelujah. God uses trials this morning. Tabi, God bless you. God bless you, my dear sister. Um, sister Isabel says we are supposed to act and look different from the world as they are watching our every move. Isabel, that is, that is, that is extremely, extremely true this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Tepo, I see your comment. Tepo says, faith and wisdom will always tame our character. And God did not just give us so much uh, 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 and left us. He lives within us at all times. We only need to acknowledge his mercy upon our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord there. Uh, Tepo Mahasani. Now, I want to say this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost closing so that we can pray this morning. Uh, God uses trials to demonstrate to us his sustaining grace and power. Yes. It is God who sustains us through our trials. So he uses some tri uh, trials sometimes to demonstrate to us his sustaining grace and power during our most difficult experiences in life. Thank God for grace this morning. Thank God for grace this morning. The Bible says his mercies are new every morning. I want to say this. Christ lives his life in and through us to demonstrate to the watching world. I see uh, Isabel is, is right in my notes this morning. Christ lives his life in and through us to demonstrate to the world that is watching us what authentic Christianity is really like. The world is watching us, how we behave, how we go through the challenges in life. The pressure of trials conform us to the likeness of Christ by producing his likeness within us. Hallelujah. God uses our trials to minister to others who are going through similar experiences. So it's powerful that how you handle situations, you know, God can even use your trial to be a blessing to another person, to help them to go through what they are facing. Only if we can handle and apply the wisdom of God to our trials. God comforts us in all our affliction so that we will be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. That is 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4. Hallelujah. I'm closing. We're going to get into a time of prayer through trials. Listen carefully. Through trials, we are equipped to share what we have learned. As we make ourselves available to Jesus this morning, he lives in and through us, giving us grace, wisdom, and power to handle our trials. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Elzan says his mercy is new every morning. Pastor Pinky says, God uses trials to demonstrate his sustaining grace. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Praise the Lord. Beloved, I want us to pray today because the reality of what we are facing today is, is so severe. We all are going through some fight, some battle this morning. But let us allow God to speak to us, allow Holy Ghost to, to minister, you know, to our spirits this morning that we, we, will, we will not be emotional about, about our trials, about situations in our lives, but ask God for wisdom according to uh, uh, James. Are any of you lacking wisdom? Ask God. Therefore, God, I believe even this morning, He is going to impart wisdom. 
in the lives of his people this morning. That way his sustaining power and grace will come upon us. And remember, your trials, there is a purpose. Whatever happens, whatever you are going through, remember God allows it. There is no trial, no issue that just happens in your life. The fact that it is happening, it means that God allowed it to happen. God has the power to block anything, to stop anything from coming to you, from harming you. But if, if it is happening in your life, it means God has allowed it to take place in your life. But it is now that you got to acknowledge that God, you, you must have a purpose. There must be something, you know, there must be a reason why I'm going through this. There is always a bigger picture. Therefore, I want to encourage you this morning. If you are feeling down, uh, uh, you are discouraged, you are going through a difficult time right now, you need the wisdom of God this morning in the name of Jesus. But ask for it according to the book of James chapter 1 verse 5. Ask God for wisdom this morning. Pray for yourself. Ask God, Lord, please give me wisdom this morning to navigate, to go through the trials and the issues of life that I'm facing right now. And I believe that God is going to give you that. The Bible says he gives us generously without reproach, without reproach. Therefore, this morning, ask him today to fill you with his wisdom and the peace of God as you go through your trials this morning in the name of Jesus. You can just lift up your voice right now as we pray and pray in tongues. The Bible says when we don't know what, we, what we're praying for, the Spirit of God, Holy Ghost, He comes to our aid. He is our helper with groanings and moanings. He begins to intercede. He prays through us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, pray to your God this morning. Pray like you know who your God is this morning in the name of Jesus. Leda ba shakala bariosa, kila bariosa brando robo shatala la la mandi, la kandoro robo shakata la bariasu, ha rabaka toro robo shatala baye, makata la bariosa brando, makata la 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 ba shokoro robo shatara bando, makata la ba sheka rabaye, neka rababa ba shokoro bo ya katala ba shata. Let's pray together. Let's pray together. Lift up your voices in your homes. Maybe you are driving in your car this morning. You are all alone. Just cry out to God this morning. Give him your burdens. Give him your trials this morning in the name of Jesus. And ask him for wisdom today to go through the trials that you are facing in the name of Jesus. Zikando robosa la katala la bashaya mandoro robosita la baria sobra baba baba ya kata rekede boshi ala mando makata la basheke de bosia ira baba baba bashata ya baye ala bakoso tolo robosha rekata la basuku la bayende ira baba baba basata ya mekete de boshata ya makando robosita la la bashete de de Ira la bariosa la baye, makata la bashata la mamando robosa. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray this morning. We pray with power. We pray with fervency this morning. For the fervent prayers of the righteous man availeth much in the name of Jesus. Therefore, Father, we pray, we pray for wisdom today. We pray for wisdom in the name of Jesus. Impart. This morning, wherever your people are watching from this morning, wherever they are, I pray for the wisdom of God to come upon your life today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, do not be ignorant of the devices of the wiles of the enemy. Therefore, Father, right now, I pray for discernment that we will be able to discern what is of God and what is not of God in the name of Jesus. Cause us to acknowledge, Father, even through our trials, that if you have allowed anything to happen in our lives, Father, that we will submit ourselves under your hand in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, do not be anxious for anything. And I pray this morning, whatever you are going through, do not be anxious, do not be worried about it, but by prayer and supplication, make your requests 
known unto the Lord with thanksgiving this morning. Begin to thank God. Even though you are in the midnight hour, begin to thank God. Even though you are like Joseph in the pit, begin to praise God. Begin to allow him to lead you and to guide you in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray today that you do a new thing in the lives of your people. I pray for the peace of God. Even though, Father, we are facing trials and tribulations, let the peace of God, the peace of God that transcends human understanding come upon your life today in the name of Jesus. Father, strip away, strip away everything, Father. Strip away everything that wants to deter us, that wants to move away, cause us to move away from your presence in the name of Jesus. Cause us to know that you allow things to happen, Father, to strip away any superficial thing in our lives, Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray that the trials that we are going through will produce the character and the likeness of Jesus in us, in Jesus' mighty name. I pray, Father, as we stay connected to the vine, even though we are in the valley of the shadow of death, we continue to be connected to the vine. Jesus Christ, the Bible says, when you connect to the vine, you will bear much fruit. I pray this morning that even in your time of testing, in your time of trouble, you will bear fruit in your life. In the name of Jesus, for the glory of God, your situation, your circumstance, your trial, your mountain will bring about glory to Jesus to Jesus. Hallelujah. Therefore, Father, we allow you to do a work in our lives. Do a work in our lives. Purify us with your fire. Purify us with your fire this morning. In the name of Jesus, as the Bible declares it, that even though we will be tested by fire, we will stand up we will stand until the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, Father, I thank you for our faith, Father, that our faith is growing. Our faith is growing in the name of Jesus from glory to glory, from faith to faith in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. And we thank you for your goodness, your mercy, and your kindness upon your people today. In Jesus' mighty name, I thank you that you are a faithful God. You are not a man that you should lie. In the name of Jesus, we bless your holy name, Lord. We say, be exalted this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Be lifted high. Jesus, amidst our problems this morning, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, Gobisa, I see, I see your prayer request. Um, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Isabel says, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. Lebrando Robosa. Maybe Pastor Pinky can, can check what, what, what Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6 says for us. Proverbs 2, verse 6. Uh, Sandra says, He is our faithful God and will never withhold anything. Uh, uh, good from us mm. praise the lord praise the lord uh Bob says god please give us your wisdom today in the name of jesus Thank you, uh, gobisa has a prayer request this morning uh going through a difficult time of grief uh also pray for more wisdom yes, hallelujah hallelujah and we're gonna pray for those people the names that you have uh, mentioned their father let's pray together as family let's stand uh, in unity as we believe god uh, uh, to sustain and to take uh, uh, these people uh, 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 um, to a better place and help them to go through this difficult time in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray uh, 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 for wisdom, Father. For Gobisa, for, for Zandile, for Ntabise, Nta, and Lindi in the name of Jesus. We speak the peace of God over you guys this morning. And we pray for the wisdom of God. We pray for the joy of God. Even though you are going through a difficult time uh, uh, the, of grieving this morning in the name of Jesus. We thank God for his goodness and kindness over your lives. And we pray for the mercy of God over your life, all of you, the names that have been mentioned there, in the name of Jesus. Father, strengthen your people, encourage them, to, uh, encourage them this morning in Jesus' mighty name. And I would encourage you, as I shared yesterday, uh, Gobisa and the rest of the people that you've mentioned, uh, the Bible says, uh, David encouraged himself in the Lord. 
Even though you are going through a difficult time, run to the presence of God. Encourage yourself in God. He, 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 he worked through you. He, he gave you some victories in the past. He allowed you, David, to slay the bear and the lion. And he will allow you to slay Goliath as well. Therefore, encourage yourself in God. See the past victories that God has given you. He will give you victory even in your future. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, Tepo says in the name uh, uh, of the mighty Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Be to Melo. Uh, mighty resurrecting powers fall upon us this morning to restore our spiritual gifts and life in Jesus Christ. Uh, name, amen. All to your glory, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Isabel de Govea, uh, thank you for joining. Thiri is saying, I see all of your uh, comments, guys. God bless you. Uh, Shandu says, do not conform to the standards of this world. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, Refilo says, this is deep. God uses trials to strip away the superficial spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Family, uh, God is faithful. God is faithful. And I believe that even this word that, that, that came to you this morning, it is from the throne room of God. All of us need the wisdom of God to navigate through life. As believers, God is continually equipping us to navigate and to make sure that this watching world will see the glory of God upon every single one of us when we go through the trials and tribulations. Thank you. Thank you ever so much for your faithfulness always waking up every morning to seek the face of your father remember and i have to always uh, reiterate this remember you are not doing this for evangelist or pastor pinky uh, when you wake up in the morning you know just determine in your heart that father i am going to your presence that's it, it's all about jesus christ it's all about what john the baptist did his message was to direct people to Jesus Christ. And this morning, that is exactly our duty to point you to Jesus Christ. So we don't want to take any glory here this morning. We don't want to take any credit. You know, as I am ministering here today, I am in the presence of my father. Likewise with you, you are, you are coming to the presence of your father, not the presence of evangelist in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. Continue to run after God, continue to pursue his presence, continue to have a hunger for the word of God. And, and have, have, have the tenacity and the boldness. Always be prayerful about everything that you are going through. Be persistent in your prayers according to Luke 11 and Luke 18. Be persistent in your prayers. God bless you. I love you with the love of God. With that said, we've come to the end of the stream. Remember Sunday morning, don't, don't miss out. I beg of you, don't miss out. Come to church, come to church this coming Sunday, 10 a.m. as well as 5 p.m. We are all going to gather together as the Bible declares. Do not neglect the gathering of the saints. Come on, let us come together to fellowship as one, as one. God bless you. We love all of you. And of course, um, tomorrow morning we are continuing 6 uh, uh, um, a.m. By the grace of God, um, we will have a guest. By the grace of God, I will confirm. I will confirm um, in the course of the day um, with the guest um, that will be coming to, to the studio tomorrow morning. So look out for that on Facebook, but I will confirm with the man of God if he is still going to be willing to join us tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. And if uh, I get a confirmation, we will quickly post a flyer so that uh, you can tag some friends and family so that they can receive from the Lord tomorrow morning as the man of God will be sharing uh, with us here uh, tomorrow morning. Daphne uh, Makubela, my dear sister, my beloved sister, thank you for joining. We love you with the love of God. Um, sadly, Daphne, we, are, we have come to the end of the stream, but please uh, be sure to catch us tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. God bless you guys. We love you, and we're going to support you tomorrow morning. With that said, I am Evangelist Tabo Mahasani, your favorite evangelist together with uh, the African Queen, Pastor Pinky. We love you. We bless you. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful Thursday, and remember... Allow Holy Spirit to lead and guide you. And uh, as you join the stream tomorrow morning, come ready with the password. Come ready. Make sure as you jump onto the stream, you've got the password. Let's flow with the password tomorrow morning as we unlock the presence of God tomorrow morning. God bless you. We love you. And we will see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. Have a wonderful day. Mwah.